The Affordable Connectivity Program connected more than 23 million low-income households to the Internet at the height of the pandemic, but now the ACP is running out of cash and it's coming to an end. So what happens to the quarter million families here in the Valley using that subsidy when the money is gone? Fox 5 is getting answers. Our need for connectivity is undeniable, especially in homes with children. During the pandemic, students nationwide fell behind simply because their homes had no internet. The White House responded by including more than $14 billion for internet subsidies in its bipartisan infrastructure law. They wanted to make sure that everybody had access to the internet because the internet has become so essential. So they put together a program. ACP provided qualifying families with free or low cost internet for the last two and a half years. And then they decreased the price to basically zero because with the $30 a month low income programs offered by the ISPs, the internet service providers, and then plus the $30 subsidy, it was free internet for folks who qualified for the program. UNLV economics professor Brad Wimmer says the program was deemed a success, but. We have a large budget deficit and Congress can't seem to necessarily Get, get deals done. So uh, the program's coming to an end. But we don't want customers to panic. Stephanie Stallworth is the public affairs director for Cox Communications. She says disconnections won't happen overnight. So the month of April will mark the last month that ACP customers will see their full benefit, their full $30 credit. After that, the federal government has told us there's going to be enough money in the coffers to provide a smaller or reduced amount in the month of May. After that, it may not be free, but staying connected will be affordable for most families. For families, low-income families, who have at least one child in K through 12 in a program that is subsidized through the federal government, whether it be the free or reduced lunch program or SNAP or even federal, pen federal pension, then um, they would qualify for a Connect to Compete program, which is only $9.95 a month. All they have to do is call the Cox offices or go into a Cox retail store and we will explain it very easily how it's going to impact them. Now, Congresswoman Dina Titus tells Fox 5 she's co-sponsored a measure which would extend the ACP through the end of the year. A statement she writes says, in part, connectivity today is electricity of the past. We must keep this essential program alive to provide better opportunities and monthly savings for hardworking Nevadans.